See, this is a bastard roof here. This is a 912, and this is a 412. How do you get the sheeting angles before you hand them up? In other words, can you cut these on the ground and hand them up with the bastard roof? And the answer is yes. But you have to know the factors of the roof. So in this case, it's a 412 to a 912. So the factors are, there are two of them, nine divided by four and four divided by nine, which is 0.44 and 2.25, right? So if you wanted to imagine that, if you would imagine that 48 inch sheet was the hypotenuse of the rafter length, and you wanted to turn it back into a run, 48 divided by the secant of the roof, which is 412 is 1.054, so 48 divided by 1.054, and then multiplied by the factor of this side, which is 0.44, will give you how much you pull across the top of a square sheet of four by eight sheet of plywood, in this case 20 inches, and snap a line to zero, and it'll give you this one here, 20 and a quarter. And it'll give you this angle here. The other one, you would take a 48 inch sheet divided by the secant of the 912, which is 1.25, that'll give you the run, because you're imagining this 48 inches is like a rafter length, and you want to find the run, so you divide instead of multiply, creating the run, and then you, you multiply that by 2.25, which is the factor, and it'll give you how far over you have to run on the level. That's why you don't, this is on the level, the other's up the rake, right? And then, you pull over that amount with a 48 inch sheet and snap a line and that'll give you the angle and it'll fit like a charm. Assuming your raptors fit like a charm. And if you're doing math for the raptors and it works, you can do math for your plywood and it'll work.